So welcome to DIY RV and Home, Camper's Life. My name's Craig. Hey, did you know that the weakest link in your electrical system is going to be the connectors? Yeah, it's any connection. Today, I'm going to show you some of the ones that I pulled off of our trailer. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I did. And we're going to tear it apart and we're going to look at it. So stick around. So here's some of the wires that I took off the trailer while I was doing my uh, RV electrical system upgrade project. This one was uh, going from a 30 amp resettable breaker on the tongue of the trailer going back to the distribution panel. You notice the corrosion, um, how uh, the crimp was not that great and there was a lot of gappage. Uh, this right here, this wire is actually right at the battery. I cut the terminal off. I was actually going to reuse the wire. I actually didn't see any corrosion initially and once I stripped the wire back I could see uh, the corrosion build up so I went ahead and used another piece but right here I'm just going to grab my uh, Gerbers and I'm going to pull some of the wires out um, and just look at that. Look at how much corrosion is just falling out of that and how corroded those wires are. Um, so yeah, being diligent, you need to be totally diligent, but even being diligent, you're going to have this, especially with how they did the wiring, how they crimped the wires and like that. Uh, best way is to actually do a good solid lug, heat shriek tubing. Um, so let's look at that first one that I was looking at, I was showing you. Um, we're going to go ahead and use the heat gun. Heat up that uh, plastic, the blue piece of plastic, and get it out of the way. I do this on a lot of my wiring, get that out of the way, and I put heat shrink tubing over it. I think it looks a whole lot more professional uh, when the project's done. I like, I just like the look of it too. So, once it does get uh, soft, I'm able to just uh, take a pair of uh, pliers and just kind of pull it, push it, and shove it out of the way like that and let's look at this uh, connector it literally looks like somebody took a pair of pliers and just kind of squished it down uh, or half-heartedly did the job look at how much gap there is uh, the corrosion that's building up, the tar uh, you know, look at how tarnished those wires are. And yes, it's out in the open, it's going to happen. But, uh, you know, trying to protect the stuff, is try to protect it the best you can. Because over time the resistance is going to be um, detrimental. It's going to wreak havoc, wreak problems with you. And uh, so what I'm doing here is I just wanted to look at the back side of this connector. And uh, so I'm cutting just at the back of it. And let's look. We're going to zoom in. and Look at the crimp job on that. It just, it's, it's diabolical. The gaps in it, just the way it's formed, it's not even staked right. Um, so I'm glad I changed it. Now this one right here, this was not in the trailer, but it's some wire that I actually have lying around. It's CCA, copper clad aluminum wire. Uh, I do not recommend using this. Um, it doesn't pair well with uh, copper itself. It wants to corrode when you saw on other stuff. As you can see right there, that was right at a battery too. This is an old stereo one. And look, and look at the uh, shrink. That's not even shrink tube. That's just a piece of rubber plastic over over it so it doesn't even create any type of protection um, that crimp eh, it's a little bit better it's it's crimped better than the one that came on the trailer but look at the corrosion that's building off of it these are from uh, the inverter we picked up um, they ship it with uh, two four aught wire excuse me four gauge wires crimped into this open uh, barrel and as you can see, you can see the wires uh, right there in the crimp. Uh, the 
positive side, I was actually able to pull out 20, 30 of those wires out of that spot. It was not crimped that good. Now, this I was messing around with a, a new crimper I had, not the one that I'm using in this video, but another one, and I had it sized wrong. And uh, you, but you look at look at how tight those wires are, though, still. Um, and yeah, no, that's why I cut it off is because it wasn't proper. Um, I was just learning how to use it. Now, let's go ahead and crimp up some wires. Um, just using the cutters right there to uh, trim the wire. Uh, they work great. Uh, you just don't want to use any steel uh, on the with that. So what I did right there is I just kind of scored the wire. I'm putting it into the crimper and just lightly putting pressure on it. Then I'm uh, flexing the wire back and forth. And what it's doing is it actually uh, finished, uh, for the most part, getting the sheathing broke. No damage, no scrapes, no scratches on the wires. And now I can go ahead and get my heat shrink tube in place and put this into the crimp. Now, this crimper goes from 8 gauge on up to 1 gauge. So you need to make sure you put in the proper uh, slot, which this is 4 gauge. And uh, so a minimum of 2 crimps on it. And it did have a little bit of an ear on the one side. It did squish a little bit, but it was not that bad at all. I mean, this was a, actually a really good solid joint also. Uh, you, there is some adjustments um, on the crimper itself that you can do to kind of lighten up or uh, adjust how much pressure is put down. So if it was over crimping, you could re, uh, loosen it up just a little bit. But you saw right there, just using a heat gun, I uh, went ahead and uh, shrunk my tube over it. Now that tubing has some uh, sealant uh, adhesive in it so as it uh, heated up it softened and it actually kind of bonded to the wire and to the lug um, so we're going to do it one more time this one is actually two gauge wire again score put it into the crimper just light pressure kind of twist it back and forth and boy come right off make sure when you do uh, put your uh, lugs on that you get all of the wires in um, you don't want any stragglers you don't want to cut any of the wires and here what I'm doing is just going to go ahead and crimp once and twice there we go again now on this one I did get the sheathing stripped back just a sixteenth more than I sh uh, liked. Uh, yeah, the best is if that uh, lug is right up to the um, sheathing. But uh, even then, putting this heat shrink tube over it that's got the adhesive on it um, helps to uh, create that good bond, that good seal, and also acts as a strain relief on the end of it. Let's go ahead and uh, cut these apart. And as you can see, I was trying to cut with, I uh, just kind of slice it and didn't work. So now I'm scoring it down the center. And you can see how well it's bonded. I'm having to use my pliers to try to pry it from the wire. Once I get out off, let's take a look. Again, that's a nice solid joint. Like I did say, there's a couple little uh, flat spots on that lug. Um, I could have adjusted it um, a little bit. This one, this is the two gauge. And as you see, I mean, there's, it looks excellent. I mean, it, it, the crimper, did a wonderful job on this. Uh, quality of your uh, lugs is going to play a part in how well they crimp out. Um, some of the thinner ones, the lighter weight ones, they're probably going to um, crimp and lee, you know, and have uh, some ears, kind of what people are calling them, on them. Um, whereas this one right here, this was a little more expensive 
uh, of a fitting, uh, excuse me, of a lug, and you can see how nice and uh, octagon it was. Very little um, squeeze between the uh, crimpers there. And so let's take a look at how well uh, that crimper right there, the 801C, did. Uh, you can see right here, it almost looks like a solid piece of copper right there. One little tiny void in it. Uh, other than that, it looks really solid. It's a good cold weld job on that uh, connector. Let's look at the other side. And uh, you'll be able to see that uh, little tiny void I was talking about a little bit better. It's right on the bottom of the, of the lug right now. But other than that, it is nice and solid. So I'm actually very happy with uh, this IWIS 801C crimper that I am using. So I hope you got something out of this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe and share the video. And uh, till the next one, happy camping.